Let's have an overview of searching for mutual funds that you might want to invest in. This has been a question we've had in class. I'm just going to use a service provider. There are many companies. I'm using one I'm familiar with. Okay, so I went to Fidelity.com, Investments, Mutual Funds. I'm going down here to... You could explore all funds, but I thought this was easier, the featured tool. So Mutual Fund Evaluator. Click on it and we can decide, we can explore by fund type. For our basics, I'm going to suggest that we explore by risk. So you have to decide if you are a lower risk person, higher risk. Probably a lot of you will be on the lower risk side. I should be now, but hey, I'm going to go with a little bit higher risk. Okay, do we want Fidelity funds only? No. Oh, no transaction fee only. So that's when you buy and sell. You don't have to pay. Fund picks from Fidelity. Let's include those. Oh, you've asked about this. Let's do zero dollar minimum investment. Now, management approach is someone actively buying and selling the stocks in that mutual fund or is it an index fund to where it just follows whatever the market does we're going to click on all for this but if you're more conservative you may go with the index fund uh, okay morning star rating i just like four or above so I want a rating of four or above. You can choose whatever you want. I want something with high returns. And notice that this is changing. And then better yet, I want something with low expenses. Whoa, I'm down to just 14. If I went to just average returns, I'd have 17 matching funds. Why not? Let's go for the best, shall we? Okay, view results. So these are all different funds that they are recommending. So here's the Morning Star rating. Oh, so say they're all five, but no, some of them are four star rated. So this is the name. This one select IT services. So this is going to be information technology. If you were going to track it, this is the code you would use, kind of like a stock ticker symbol. These are the categories that they're recommending. Here's one in healthcare. Here's a blend of small companies. Here's some small value companies, technology, consumer cyclical. Uh, let's just take this first one to kind of look at it, okay? So for starters, it is year to date, it is increased 33%. Uh, in one year, it's increased 9.8%. Here's the three-year returns, five-year, ten-year. Wow, that's looking really good to me. Since I need to make some changes, maybe I should consider this. So I'm going to look and see. So here, it's cons comparing this one which I guess is this color with the S&P 500 and I'm not sure what that is. So it's been doing the same as what the market is. Oh, this is this stock is the purple one on top. So look how much better it's doing than these different ones they chose to compare it to including the Standard & Poor 500. So it is doing really well. So expense ratio, so the, uh, what's in it? So here is the most of the portfolio. MasterCard, Visa, Fidelity, Pfizer, PayPal. Oh, okay, some of these I don't know. Oh, GoDaddy, that's website. So these are all technology. Duh. Okay, if you want to see more, that was the top 10 holdings. 
Um, okay, never mind. Let's go back. Um, so it tells you who the fund managers are. That doesn't mean anything to me. You could compare to similar Fidelity funds or similar funds by other companies. So here's BlackRock uh, before deciding to make a decision. Here's how it is performed over the life of the fund, over the last 10 years, and so forth. So, risk category, it's a little bit higher, so that's expenses are fairly low. The returns have been great. So, if you're going to leave it invested for a long time, you can do a higher uh, risk category, if you can stomach it. If you can't, then choose something a little bit lower. If you're going to leave it in there a shorter period of time, you should be on the lower end of this. So, let's go back and let it generate. So we could do the same. So I guess, well, no, this is that one. Uh, defense and aerospace, if you think that's... Uh, good investment you can check out that one here's a different technology wow a bunch of these are technology uh, let's see what's in a consumer cyclical five star rating returns have been great kind of high risk low expense so Hmm, there's a fund that is doing the same or a little bit higher, but it's considerably better than the standard and poor's. You can see it's doing really well this year, and it's done quite well the past few years. Oh, who's in this one? What are the top ten holdings? Amazon. Home Depot, Lowe's, TJ Maxx, I don't know the booking, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, O'Reilly, Ross, Burlington Stores. Interesting that Walmart's not in that. I really thought this would show us more, but it didn't earlier. Well, it's just the breakdown of the companies that are in there. And here's the logos, so it's kind of nice to see it in that way. Okay. So, I think that is a good overview. We will stop at this point.